Sweet. So that's pretty much our app that we wanted to build today. Um, there is one last thing I wanted to show off, and that is uh, Robert's, um, dem uh, what do you call it? Robert's design uh, asset for for this weather app. So he showed it off a bit earlier. It's pretty much the same concept, um, different design, but the state machine is all the same. So the state machine name you can see is the same and all the inputs are the same. Um, the, the animations might be a little different, but that's okay because from a dev perspective, as you saw, we're only tapping into the inputs um, and specifying uh, the state machine name here. And so if I wanted to play Robert's uh, art for uh, uh, weather app and have his background, I'm going to just change this artboard name from Proto1 to Ar uh, Robert's artboard, which is Proto2. And you can see here, Wow. Okay, we changed the whole background of this of, of this app, uh, and it, it it correlated accordingly. There's some funkiness here. I have to figure that out. But you can see that it's it's changing. It's the same thing. We're we're changing the time input. It's changing the background here. It's got some clouds, um, changing with the time of day. I think there's like some cool sunsetty one. Um. Anyway. Oh yeah. Here's another day one. But anyway, you could see the usefulness of this, hopefully. Like, say you were trying to, if I wanted to A-B test this with like different users, I could have some kind of feature flag management system in this application and kind of A-B test this artboard name. I, you saw I was only changing one line um, to, to see which maybe, uh, which experience resonated better with users. Um, and so that's one kind of idea that you could use here. and. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to show off today.